Welcome back. In this section, let's learn about Venus pressure. So take a moment and stop the slide to review Venus structure. And then let me hit a couple of points. Venus flow cannot overcome gravity. And one thing that veins have that help them with this are these one-way valves. And the other nice component about veins is that they are very distensible, even at very low pressures. So if we review how blood moves in the venous system, we have a couple of different pumps. The first was the skeletal muscle pump, where when muscle contracts around the vein, it propels blood proximally. And then when that skeletal muscle relaxes, blood comes back, but then is stopped by the valves. And the other pump had to do with breathing. And with inspiration, the diaphragm pushes down on the abdominal contents, increasing the abdominal pressure, thereby sending blood in a superior direction towards the heart. And the thoracic pressure has plummeted, so you got twofold reason for blood to go up towards the heart. And then when you exhale, the reverse happens. But once again, we have one-way valves preventing black flow. So when we look at blood, because we spent a lot of time talking about capacitance and resistance vessels and all of that on the arterial side, but remember that is less than 15% of your blood and almost two thirds of your blood is on the venous side. So the venous blood has a major contribution to normal cardiac function. So let's look at contributing factors to venous pressure. We just talked about these two factors on the right. If we increase our skeletal muscle pump, we increase our venous re pressure or venous return. If we increase our inspiration, we do the same. It also would happen if we increase our blood volume, then we would have more blood volume on the venous side. Therefore, we would have more pressure on the venous side. And then the last one is if we increase activity of sympathetic nerves to veins, because remember, veins still do have smooth muscle, albeit less than on the arterial side, we can get some vasoconstriction occurring on the venous side. And with that, I am done working our way through the blood vessels, and now we will start putting components together in the next sections. So thank you so much, and I will see you as we start getting a little bit more complicated.